Hey guys, it's so comfortable in this trunk. We got a huge trunk in here, 566 liters. And in fact, it was so comfortable that I thought as a new car company, you want to save a lot of money. So I just got shipped with the car instead of taking the plane here. It's just a phenomenal trunk, I'm telling you guys. Now, let me talk a little bit about this car. Uh, we did a lot of new things in this vehicle, specifically to get to the amazing pricing that you can see here on the wall behind me, $37,499, or with the federal tax credit, $29,999, which I think is a really amazing price for this vehicle. So how did we do that? Well, we had to do quite a lot of stuff. First, the hood, we don't spend money on latches, on seals and all kind of stuff because you don't need to get underneath this hood. We have moved the air conditioning parts, a lot of electronics under the hood. So this is actually a fixed panel that we don't need to spend any money on. And if you need to fill on some water, there is a flap up here. You just open, put in water for the sprinklers in front. In the front, of course, electric cars still need some air to come in. So we have a paramedic pattern here below where we slowly open up for air cooling into cool the motors, the battery, etc. We also got a mid-range radar and a, a, a short distance radar, obviously for a certain level of ADAS. And what's kind of cool in this vehicle is we have logos that light up, but they only light up to sort of give you a sense of the location when you walk up to the vehicle. As soon as you put it in drive for legal reasons, obviously that goes off if we are not allowed to drive around with, you know, orange and blue, we leave that for the police. Uh, another interesting thing that we did here uh, is I always feel you integrate these cool LED lights, super thin, high technology, and then when you turn the indicator on, usually it kind of feels like a blind eye, but we actually have the indicators below, so we kind of separate the indicators for the headlamps themselves. One of the things you'll notice in this vehicle is a very wide stance compared to the width of the body. The reason for that is to create a real sense of safety and stability to an SUV. So when you have a really wide track, low center of gravity, you've got an amazing stability when you corner, which means when you have this inbuilt stability and great layout in the vehicle, you don't need such a stiff suspension. So you actually will have a very safe ride, but a very comfortable ride. We obviously will offer some sporty variants of this vehicle, the most extreme version targeted at zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds, but it's still gonna be comfortable. Now, this vehicle sits on a fully developed and engineered platform. This is actually a steel bodied car. This is not a fiberglass, you know, show car. It is fully drivable. We didn't have time to make a lot of drivable videos before the show as we just finished it just before CES. So we'll actually be releasing some driving videos and driving, uh, you know, showing how it drives uh, in the end of January. We'll also announce a little bit more about our partnerships in uh, Geneva Auto Show, but we obviously have some big partners as part of developing a car for this price. Uh, so part of how we can achieve this price is the development, the high volume parts, the battery that's in this vehicle has already been tested, certified, we have spent the last two years with supply chain to get everything ready to launch this car next year. We have secured manufacturing for a million vehicles over five years, uh, so we are ready to go. Uh, another thing about this vehicle, which is kind of unique, is that we have something called the California mode. And you will see all the windows rolls down, including, and you can even see up here, rolls down, so all the windows roll down and you can put stuff in through the rear hatch. We even have recycled rubber here from tire manufacturing to protect the rear hatch when you stick in, let's say, a surfboard as you see over there or something like that. Now, that feature was kind of, a few car has that back in the day, but then people figured out that there's fumes from turbulence that comes in through the back. But this being an electric vehicle, we obviously don't have that issue. So an electric vehicle with fun, it's a fun feature where you feel a sense of a convertible, but it's also usability. We also are going to offer what we think is probably the world's largest solar roof on a vehicle, at least in high volume production. 
and that roof will generate in good conditions like in Las Vegas or California about a thousand free miles a year zero emission sustainability is a big thing for us on one hand I believe that the car the automotive industry is fundamentally changing forever and most dramatically that it has maybe in a hundred years we are going into of course electrification connectivity as we see here but also sustainability we have to find a way where cars automobiles can fit into the future of our clean world and how do we do that well there's many different levels on one hand with our flexible lease model which is 379 dollars a month we are going to own the cars and keep them and service them for at least eight years where we keep sending them out of course the price will slowly drop but the point is we don't necessarily want you to buy a new car every two years that's the old car industry they need to make money every two years they need to make a facelift and sell you a car we don't need to do that we'll take this car back we'll refurbish it that's why we're looking to make a timeless design we'll deploy it again and that's really what sustainability is about using products longer but there's also other parts of sustainability let me show you inside the car we got these very cool door handles here uh, coming out and again I just want you guys that are from the automotive business take a look here at the side section take a look at the seals of this vehicle this is a fully developed drivable prototype out of steel it's not a show car it's a real vehicle inside this vehicle we got some pretty unique features uh, all the materials in here are sustainable or vegan uh, this nice material like an ultra suede we see here uh, is actually made from recycled t-shirts uh, all the carpets are made from recycled plastic bottles and fishing nets out of the ocean so everything is recycled uh, all vegan leathers used uh, special mi microfiber uh, fabrics are used in uh, where they are made in a very sustainable way so everything is about sustainability and use of materials and this is just a start it's taking us a long time to source all these materials and get it to automotive grade we have, like I mentioned worked on that for two years our whole supply chain is set up coming to the electronics we're at consumer electronics show at CES we're showing a really exciting screen and I want the camera to go to the other side and actually see in here how amazing it looks so what we have in here we have obviously the normal screen in front of the driver which is important um, to just get your basic information we also have a head-up display but we have this really cool screen here which is bent and coming down and as we all know there's a big difference between sitting at home in your couch and operating your iPad versus driving a car with uneven services maybe some potholes trying to get through a menu on an iPad on your screen so we decided we need five buttons that are the five most used things you use every day dozens of time in your car they have to be haptic you have to be able to reach them without even looking you just reach down and you know this is the fan speed up and down quick temperature up and down quick home button up and down quick find and the end volume those are the five buttons you use all day in the car whenever you drive dozens of times have to be quickly available second part phones I always end up putting my phone in the cup holder which is really annoying it, it flappers around we have two nice places to put the phone in the vehicle you can easily see them they're inductive charging very simple very good we also have a special space underneath here since we don't we have moved all the air condition unit out in the front so we actually have added interior space for let's say it could be a woman's purse it could be something else you want to put down here extra space something cool in the interior to give a little more sense of it uh, occasion is kind of we have an option lighting option package where we actually have see-through lighting in the interior ocean down here and I if you kind of look at this car you'll notice both in the exterior and the interior there is zero chrome on this vehicle chrome was a big thing in the 60s some people still think it is we kind of took it out and we kind of feel the whole new design trend of future of the future is using lighting as more of an accent and using some really interesting surfaces so we have a paramedic pattern here for loudspeakers so it's more of a high-tech feeling hiding the vents everything is more high-tech I want to speak about 
the uh, head-up display. Head-up display is probably going to be the uh, instrumentation in the future. Why? Because you're looking straight out through the, the windscreen and whatever information you get gets projected up on the windscreen and you won't be able to see it from the outside, only the driver can see it. And we thought we would add a little fun feature in this. You're actually going to be able to push a button and you're going to be able to see the lyrics of your favorite song and you can do karaoke while you drive and just read the lyrics out through the front windscreen. We thought that'd be kind of funny. And uh, I won't try and sing that again. I tried it once and got a lot of negative feedback, so I'll only do that when I'm alone in the car. Let me go to the back seat. I want to show you how much space in the back seat. Obviously, this is an SUV, so we need to make sure there's a lot of space. I'm six foot tall, a lot of space here. And as you can see, sitting super comfortable, a lot of headroom. There's room for three grown-ups. And we've got a couple of interesting things here. We got like a mirror here at the back where you can look in, which is kind of cool. So there's a mirror here. It's not a screen. We also have here a room where you can put your phone and you can actually just put out the charging cord here underneath, put it in here so it can sit and charge, but you have a place to put your phone, which again, normally just lies around here at the, at the floor. So easy. So everything is about usability, a lot of pocket space, but also very comfortable. And then of course we got the trunk that I just mentioned that I came out of with uh, 566 liters, 708 liters. I think it's 20 cubic foot feet. Probably doesn't tell a lot, but it's quite a big trunk. Anyway, again, we look forward to actually launch this vehicle in 2021. Uh, we already have some early adopters who has put down deposits, in fact, thousands. So we unfortunately already sold out in end of 21. So anybody who actually do put down a $250 deposit will first get their car probably now towards mid-2022. We'll be launching in the US first, shortly followed by Europe. Uh, we, we are doing everything through an app. That's another way that we take cost out. We are taking every single middleman between us making a car and you receiving a car. Every middleman has been taken out. We are delivering the car directly from the factory to you. And we do it by you ordering it via an app, saying what color you want, what specific option package do you want, and you will get to know when you get it delivered. Payments happen over the app. We'll make sure you get an insurance quote over the app. We are aiming to lower the insurance about 20 to 30 percent of what you have today if you have a similar priced vehicle. How can we do that? Because we work directly with the insurance companies and we tell them we will not overcharge for our spare parts. Spare parts is a big thing in the auto industry. Everybody makes a ton of money on it and you're paying for it via a high insurance. We're going to lower the insurance because we are not going to make a ton of money on the spare parts. It's not part of our business model. By not having all this brick and mortar, like giant, beautiful dealerships where you can get cappuccinos and all that type of stuff, we eliminate all that. We go straight to you, the consumer. When you need service, if there's anything with this car, all you need to do is go in your app, click you need service, we'll make an appointment with you, we'll come up and pick, we'll pick up your car. You don't have to bring it anywhere. Why? Because we are going to service that in some giant warehouses outside the city together with some partners. Yes, there's no cappuccino there, which is why we don't want you to go there, but it's half the price that it normally would be. Again, we bring that to you, the consumer. This is revolutionary in the automotive industry. Nobody so far have dared to do all that directly with the consumer because you have to take out so many middlemen that today make money on you guys and we're taking them all out and going directly to you. Take a look, download the Fisker app. It's very exciting. We want to take you with us on this journey and we're going to show you some more stuff at Geneva Auto Show, send out some driving footage end of January. Anybody who downloads the app will get exclusive pictures on the app. That's how we're going to communicate with you guys in the future, again directly to you, give you information on the app, and it'll be accessible all the time from us directly. Thank you very much for coming. Enjoy CES. Thank you.